Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a tutorial for a skill tree. So I had a request to um, have a skill tree that whenever you accessed it you could return back to wherever you were on the map and I have figured it out through about an hour of testing um, but yeah I think it works great now so what I have here is a simple background here uh, we have a guy here that gives us a book which allows us to access the skill tree itself so if we go over to items here uh, it's just called skill unlock which calls a common event which teleports us to the skill tree room so the common event for skill tree room is simple uh, it's just a transfer so it transfers us to the skill tree room here okay and uh, we've just got one skill I'll zoom in so you can uh, read all this okay so what we need to do in order to um, get out of the skill tree room and back into the world which was the issue that the, this one particular person had um, it's not as difficult as I originally thought it was we're gonna need regions I've just set this to two so anywhere on this map you're gonna be calling um, this event here which is a parallel process it controls a variable which is region ID equaling map ID and then it's calling a common event which is map ID okay so if we go back to our common events I've got three in total the skill tree room map ID which is controlling a variable which sets player X equaling to the map X of player player Y equals to map Y of player and the last one which is map ID equals map ID region ID is simple it just can gets location info for region ID terrain tag of the player X and Y okay so anywhere within this map because this has uh, the two on it and I'll even go to our other maps here and just set this wherever now originally I was gonna set it up because I couldn't figure out how to teleport back to anywhere what I was originally planning was to have these um, items here which was sort of like here you can upgrade here you can unlock kind of thing um, but that wasn't the original request I figured it was kind of cheaping out so so let's ju let's just test it let's just see how it works so we have our guy here we talk to this guy he says here have this book of learning also a free skill point okay so if we go into our items key items and we select our, our guy we can unlock increased health and it costs one skill point and then we can exit and you see we've teleported back and if we check our character we have an extra 10 health and if we go to our next map here let's say we wanted to try it on the bridge there we go to our items key items skill unlock and um, the actual skill tree that I made itself isn't really functioning the whole point of this was to transfer from um, back from that skill tree room so we select yes exit skill upgrade and it didn't quite work did it oh right I see what happened here so I have a parallel process here we just need to copy that event to the next map and that should read the tag as the same so just go new game go that skill point go to our next map item key items we do our upgrade and there you go it transfers us back and let's just check to see if it is working for different maps um, which I can't do because I haven't had the transfer event brilliant one second
Okay, let's try this again. So, we can fight an enemy to gain a skill point. Obviously, if, you, if you're working on a skill tree and you've already got that working, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, obviously, it takes a long time to get skill trees working. Uh, the whole point of this video, again, is simply the transfers. So, talk to this guy, we get a book. Brilliant. Now, see where the character is there, standing right next to that little green bush. We do our skill. We unlock it. Exit. And we're back to that position. And if we go to the other map. And we do that skill again. Sends us right back there. And that's simply calling that event. So we've made two common events. So we're going to run through this again. Just to... Um, Make sure you've got it. Region ID equaling map ID through a variable. Okay. Common event. It's running map ID and it's set to parallel. In our common events, I've made three. One just for a transfer whenever we access the book. Another called map ID, which is controlling three variables. The first one is we're naming player X and it's going to game data map of character player ma equals map x okay same for y just change out the x for the y third one we're calling map id game data other map id all right and the other common event is region id which is getting location info through region id terrain tag and the player x and y so we need to set a region so obviously you know if you've got places you can't walk like for instance um, the water then we're not going to do that that's fine it won't affect it it just means you're not going to get teleported to that place but if you can't walk on it then it doesn't matter so set up the regions for where you want to be teleported to from whenever you access the menu and that's where it will take you back to exactly the same spot every time so again if we go through our variables and um, six variables one for skill point, one for skill point amount, that's for the actual skill tree. But the ones we need for the transfers are only four. Five, sorry. Player X, player Y, map ID, and region ID. Okay. And there you go, there's a fully functioning skill tree that allows you to access it in your menu and will transfer you back to anywhere on the map. So this was a request from someone who left a comment on one of my videos. Um, it's not something I would uh, make for a game that I'm making at the moment, uh, skill trees and everything. Um, but yeah, that's that will be how you do it. If this has helped you, that one particular person who commented, awesome, really glad it could help. And if it's helped anyone else, fantastic. Um, that's kind of the point why I make these tutorials. You know, um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this content and this tutorial helped, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment as well. I would love to help anyone else who has any kind of issues or just needs help in general. I'd love to do that. I'd love to make a video on it and I'm glad I could make this one. Um, it's definitely something new for me. You know, I didn't know how to do this earlier today but I kind of you know it took me about an hour to um, to learn how to do it because I wasn't familiar with uh, region tagging fully um, but yeah that would be how you do it it doesn't seem to impact performance that much I thought it would be but it seems to run quite well um, considering it's updating location info for, through every step I thought it would um, take a performance impact but no it seems to run okay so once again, we're going to run through it. Region IDs, map IDs, calling a common event on a parallel process. And that will take you back. So thank you very much again, and peace out.